Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. This is Dancing Goat Distillery. Now, Dancing Goat Distillery is in Wisconsin, okay? And this is a single barrel and it's Toast to Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee is a chain of liquor stores. And this was a single barrel select. Now, this is a single barrel of rye that was see now this is where it gets confusing so on the front of the bottle it says distilled from a rye, from a rye mash barrel aged with french oak staves finished in limousine oak okay but then on the back <laughs> on the back it says um, Limousin rye is aged a minimum of six years in vintage American oak barrels, then finished in the world's rarest oak from the Limousin forests in France. So, I'm not sure what that means. Now, even the back is confusing with what the back says. Because they're, this is a single barrel version. Their normal release version of this whiskey is a triple cask whiskey where it's aged in virgin American oak and what they call vintage American oak, so used barrels, and French oak, then finished in limousine oak. So, <clears throat> I'm confused about this one because the front and the back of the bottle kind of contradict, contradict each other. Now, the other thing that's interesting about this is they don't say anywhere on the bottle or on the website or in any of the stuff that I could find online that any of these limousine staves or barrels were ever used to hold cognac. They don't claim that anywhere. This isn't a cognac finished rye. It's a limousine oak finished rye. Now limousine is a is an area in France. There's a forest there and, and in that forest there is a very special kind of oak trees with a a very um, yeah wide grain, which allows more tannins, more interaction. It it allows that whiskey to come in and out of the wood easier than other French oaks that have a more narrow cell wall. Um, Limousin cognac is typically described as being more floral, having a smoother taste and a richer texture. So so yeah, it's it's a little confusing. Um, the vintage barrels, the new charred barrels, and then the finish and the limousine. So I don't know, I'm a little bit confused about all that. Now this is my first bottle of Dancing Goat anything. And and you know you know me with Jay Henry and some others, uh, Driftless and whatnot, I seem to really like uh, Wisconsin whiskey. I don't know if it's the wild temperature swings that are really pushing whiskey in and out of the oak or if it's just a matter of the the base material grains that they're using from Wisconsin to make these whiskeys uh, for whatever reason it just t tends to fit my profile and I tend to like Wisconsin whiskey more than a lot of other stuff and more than some other people even as it were now this is a hundred percent rye mash bill so just dry, nothing else. No corns, no malts, no wheats, no barleys, no nothing, just dry. So now I did, uh, I've had two tastes out of this and I'm pretty impressed to be honest. So let's go here in the nose. It's a very herbaceous, very funky, not floral. It's like hay, like nice fresh field of hay kind of herbal. And I would say that that hay being a horse guy, 
I grew up around horses, feeding horses, so smelling whole grains and smelling different kinds of hay is pretty normal for me. Um, this hits me like an alfalfa hay. Or if you've ever felt fed horses, there's those alfalfa cubes that are like matted little clumps of alfalfa hay. And, and I kind of get those alfalfa cube note on this whiskey. I also get some weird shit like sunflower seeds some salty sunflower seeds, hot caramel, sweet cream butter on rye bread. Oh yeah. And I even get like funkier notes like pumpkin flesh. Like it's weird, man. That's a ride. And I, I can totally pick up on the French oak note that's there on the whiskey. Oh, I love that. Let's taste. Mmm. It's like undulating waves of flavor <clears throat> that just like roll through. Like take like it just makes you want to makes you want to move. It's like oh. Creamy butterscotch, vanilla ice cream, sparkly herbal rye. It's kind of effervescent. Man, I think this is a beautiful whiskey. I don't know what else to say about it. I think it's great. There's a hints, a little hints of of very light chocolate accents on the caramel. Like somebody just like stirred in a little bit of melted chocolate. Oh man. Thank you, Kevin Tabear, for sending this to me. Holy shit, man. Oh, this uh, Wisconsin love affair that I'm having is problematic. Oh man, since I live in Florida. Yeah, that's great. I I want to try some more stuff from Dancing Goat, like, immediately. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.